we started with really hot lights, so incandescents and you know these the uh, the vapor lamps, because we were always looking for a way to get that perfect light, you know, mm -hmm. balanced for daylight. Uh, it looks warm at the same time. It's not oversaturated. It's it's really an art to get the spike to be in the right place so that your your scene looks right. Right. Well, with LEDs, what we got was the ability to more closely control our light. Plus, it makes a lot less heat. Yeah, that's handy. And uh, I guess LEDs will probably last longer than most of those ordinary bulbs. And they'll last like that. longer. They'll generate less heat. Uh, they they can actually provide nicer color than you can get from, uh, say, a, a, like a, a vapor lamp. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, especially the first generation of LEDs were ridiculously expensive. <laughs> so this one that we have in front of us here, this is an LED light. Yes. Do you, how, how much was this one? Well, then? actually, uh, go to that uh, first link there, Alex. This is a light panel. It's one of the first companies that really provided professional quality LEDs. This is an on-camera light. So, you know, it's this has got, what, 130 or so LEDs in it. Mm -hmm. It's... 350 bucks. Oh, no, sorry. It's $584. It's almost oh. $600. Now, this is a fantastic light. It's a it's great quality, really bright, right. but still $600. I mean, <laughs> and, and this, remember, this was one of the early ones. We got this in the early days of Twit. I think uh, we paid like $1,000 each wow. for these things. Wow. Um, okay. Yeah. And if you go to the... Uh, to the other ones, to the large light panels, the ones that are like one foot by one foot, those those are now still about $1,000. And again, you get what you pay for. Mm -hmm. It is very, look at that. It's, it's nice quality light, but uh, most of us aren't going to pay $600 for our, our on-camera light. I mean, when we were talking about cameras, that was about the mid-range to kind of expensive that you would spend on a camera too. Exactly, yeah. exactly. <laughs> but don't, don't judge it like that. I mean, judge it on, well, does it make all my other gear work better? And yes, good lighting does make everything else you have work better mm -hmm. because bad lighting will look horrific. <laughs> now, now, okay, when we did this topic two years ago, uh, we talked about a lot of sort of shortcuts that you could take as a podcaster. Mm -hmm. um, one of my favorites was you would get some daylight balance. They had to be daylight balance because otherwise it would look green. Daylight balance, compact fluorescent lamps, you get the, you remember those, uh, like the aluminum reflectors, they just look like bowls with a hole in the bottom? Yes. So you would put the light in that, so all the, the light's being directed, and then you would take dryer sheets, and you would tape it over the front so it would diffuse, because what you right. don't want is you don't want super, I mean, here. You uh, want harsh go to, light. Go to Brian, go to his single. Hi so, there. I mean, you don't want that. You don't want to be like burning in on one side. over here, yeah. Precisely, so what you want is you kind of want, you want this look, where it's, it's a bit more diffused. You know, you can get that with distance, or you could get that by putting some sort of material in the way of the light that will diffuse it. Again, right. so harsh, so it blows everything out, just does not look good. Pull it back, and you actually get some, some nice lighting. Where'd you go, Padre? <laughs> I'm I sorry, can't can you see any. See? Can you not see? out of my left eye. <laughs> That's actually, let's do that one more time. So what you want to do is you want to <laughs> go like right now. I'm sorry. Can you see it all now? <laughs> Who's talking? <laughs> Where did you go? <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, and uh, yeah, you could still do that, but there's actually less expensive, better quality lights that you can get now. All right. All right do so we have them on hand? We do. Sweet. Uh, so if you go to Amazon, you will find dozens, if not hundreds of these. This is just one I found. This is a best light. It's 160 LED. 24 bucks, 23 okay, dollars but with, with already red flags are coming up, though. What, why is it so cheap compared to the <laughs> other LEDs? That we no, no, at? no. This is exactly the same quality as this. <laughs> totally. It's the same. The, the, yeah? No, no okay. totally not. So what happens is they, uh, you, know, you use less expensive LEDs. Mm -hmm. you, there is no heat sink on this. So if you keep this on forever, it It'll will melt eat itself. itself. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, you know, this is all aluminum construction versus plastic construction. Right. But I mean, the price difference is ridiculous. Yes. This is this is 1 20th, less than 1 20th of the cost of this light panel. And- But is it 1 20th as good as well, the other one? Well, you tell me. Okay, so let's, let's put these both up. So that's this light. Actually, go to the front view. That's that light, and that's that light. You can already see- There's a color difference yes, that's huge. That's huge. So this is actually more daylight balance. This gives me a really, like a blue look. So that's off the bat, you can see that. Th when people talk about the color temperature of the light, that's what they're talking about. This color temperature really blues out versus this one, this one at the bottom, which mm -hmm. is more daylight. 